Huh? We keep losing power. Hey guys. Happy Hi. Thursday. It's Tapo and look, look who I got. Wait, it's backwards. Wait. Look who I got. <laughs> what? I got Mustard Tree Market with me tonight. What? <laughs> We're reunited. I just want to squeeze your face. I just want to squeeze your face. So guys, many of you may not, may or may not know, Malia and I are besties. We're besties. We run a group together. We've done paint, a paint class together in here in Texas where I live. Her family vacations with us um, last summer and we did an amazing, our first paint class together. It, we had an amazing turnout. Um, all the things. And so I'm super excited. She's my special guest tonight because I haven't painted with her. We had a regular paint show, the Color Me Pretty Paint Show. Um, and we haven't been, we haven't done it in a while, but I was like, you know what? We need to paint together. You want to paint with me? And she was like, I guess. Yeah. And she was like, she was like, yes. She was so excited. She couldn't contain herself. So here she is. You guys know her. You love her. Malia Klein of Mushroom Tree Market, brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint Company. I'm Jay Poe. I'm with the Purple Posey. I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell. I'm the owner and artist of the Purple Posey. And I co-run the Painting Over Borders with this chick right here. What? Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to paint with Malia tonight, um, my bestie. I'm going to bring up this live really quick on my laptop so I can see comments because I cannot see comments. Malia. Hey. Hey, Christine. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Brandy. You are never quiet. I know it's been a quiet, quiet day. A quiet day. So I watched I watched your um your live with the other brand ambassadors. That was so fun. If y'all did not see that, you've got to go back and watch it. And I had no that audio. Was so it was like the quietest one in the room. But your piece is amazing. I want to buy it. I kind of want to buy it. I'm not gonna lie. It's so cool. It's so cool. Y'all, she's yes, hearts. Yes, hey, reunited. Yes, hey Carrie. So um what was I gonna say? Oh, so I'm in Texas, she's in Missouri. And I don't remember what else I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're here painting. Yeah, we're gonna paint together. Reunited, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love her so much. I don't tell her that very very often, but I'm gonna say it in front of 4,000, 400,000 of our best friends. Love her so much. What are you working on tonight? I love you too, Jpo. Thanks for having me tonight on your show. And I have I'm, the way. I'm, I'm like hot and sweaty. Sorry. I'm it's still me. working on this <laughs> dollhouse buffet is what we're calling her. And it's like using old um, vintage dollhouse wallpaper. It's like really, really, really old. There it is. And I'm using that. And... I'm using best stain wax to add some grunge. I'm doing some would you bend trims and moldings and lots of fun stuff. And you're are you recreating your your boho blue buffet? I am. So the but so this it's so backwards. So the thing behind me is <laughs> it's a custom dresser that I got dropped off. Um and she wanted me to recreate a piece I did about a year and a half ago, and it's actually the piece that I recreated for our class, ironically enough, in Texas. So that's what I'm recreating tonight. And I'm using, the colors that I'm gonna use tonight is um, In the Navy, um, Pure Ocean. Ooh. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of Haint Blue, because a little Haint Blue never hurt nobody. Sure didn't. Throw it in. Sure didn't. Mm. Cause you know what? That's what I need to do my buckle blending. And I'm gonna be using my, I'm actually, you know, I always go to my minis. I always go to my minis. I'm gonna use an oval medium tonight because I can. Because I can. Wow. Mm -hmm. I am. Yep, sure am. Switching it up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a uh, extra saucy. <laughs> y'all, as you jump on, y'all let us know where you're watching from because I'd love to know. Um, and hey, Dixie Bell. Hey, Dixie Bell. So, um, yeah, y'all let us know where you're watching from. Hey, Natalia. Hey, Natalia. So I had so something anyways. strange happen too. Um, what? 
I have an old transfer that my baby had somehow separated from the paper and it was left like in frozen temperatures and got like frozen and separated. So it was like crunchy and mm -hmm. I still wanted it, <laughs> pieces of it. So I've been like gator hiding it to see if I could get it to stay on. And I like slicing it and then putting gator hide underneath of it. But I think it'll work for this like distressed look I'm I'm going for anyways. Oh, for sure. And then like I don't need texting. Sorry. No, you're fine. Um Tabor, I talked to him last week. Go ahead. Last week I put like I wanted to add another color to this and make it look like there was almost like wallpaper residue left on it. And so I'm using woo, rebel yellow. Whoa. Rebel yellow to add some like almost wallpaper residue glue. That sounds gross, but I want it to really look like wallpaper tore off of it over the years. Yeah. And I get it. I, can, I get it. Fresh. Yeah. Hey Lindsay. Lindsay, that's our new that's our new hey Lindsay's a brand new member to our tribe today. Welcome hey, Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah. All right. So I started this drawer over oh gosh, it's so backwards. I started the drawer over here and I was like, and now that doesn't match what I needed to do. So I'm going to go over here. No, I, love that. I was looking. Well, I know I like it too. I'm not saying I don't like it. Oh, but I went back to look at the, um, the piece that she, she, you know, wants me to recreate. And I'm like, um, it's, it's, it's not what she wants. So I grabbed, um, Cure Ocean. Okay. This is just, this is just paint blue. Okay. I'm going to do both. Gotcha. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Dixie Bell. So thank you, Bet. Is it Bet or Betty? Thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. So I'm like yeah. so full. I stuffed down my dinner so I could get in here and paint with you. All right. I'm going to go in with. Um, in the navy, I got my base coat on, covered really, really well. I don't even really need a second coat, really per se, but I gotta do my blending. So, do it. Oh, I think it's Carrie, Carrie Fox, you're the best. We love you. We love having you in our tribe. I love you, Carrie. Now that song's in my head, so everything I say is gonna be singing in that same tune. I know you've been, um, you've been basically singing that song since I sang it. So I had myself to thank for that nonsense. It's all your fault, yes. It's all your fault, yes. Yeah. So I just wet my brush a little bit to make everything smooth like butter. Your boa blending is like impeccable. I can't do it. Yeah. I know my lane. I, I know my lane. Could. I bet you could. I didn't think I could do your linen and I did it. You what? I didn't think I could do your linen, and I did it. Yeah, but I tried to do your boho blending. It's not. It's not. It doesn't work. I just. I gave up. I. I know my lane. I know I my lane. And I bet you can. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to do it, and I'm gonna get you to do it with purple. You know what I'm gonna? Ooh, you know what I'm gonna get you to do? I'm gonna get you to do my calla lily thing. Make it stop now, cause I know what I'm. All my stuff is grungy and dirty looking and messed up and torn uppity and everything. Cause then, if I make a mistake, guys, just part of the it's just part of the art. <laughs> part of the look. If I make a mistake, it's you guys all are fooled. See, you think I'm good at something, but really, I'm just really bad. And I just shut make that part of face. It. Oh my god, <laughs> shut your face! I'm not even. I can't even with you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a heavy hand. Uh oh. Heavy hand of um, what is this? I already forgot. Pure ocean. Well, heavy so hand. This is closer to what she wants. Yep, this is it. Yeah, yep. I can see what you're saying. Yep, this is closer. Emily, interfering, reunited. Yep, sure am. I know, and I'm like, I wish like fix it, Mark. Like seriously, come on. I hate using these dang like third party whatever's i just want to go live from my phone and just 
like super fast, like jump on and go live and do the things and be done. Like I don't want to use all this stuff. Gotta quit saying naughty things or they're gonna take it away. You won't. Just I'm gonna call I'm gonna I'm gonna call him after this. I'm just you guys I use um Gator Hide for all my um all my decoupage no matter whatever I'm sticking to my pieces. You can literally stick anything. There's some really pretty decoupage on the Dixie Bell website left, a little bit of it, I think. And then you can pretty much do anything, stick anything to it. And Gator Hide's the best thing to use. It's better than, what do you call that? Mod Podge. I, I've never used it. I always don't use this. What were you holding up there, Boo? I was showing the color, I was showing the color haint blue and how much I had on my brush, and now I'm done. Because I don't switch brushes. I don't do it. See how different we, that's what's fun guys. You have to have a best friend that's totally different than you. Like your paint bestie has to be somebody that's totally different than you. And Jacob and I could not be more different in like our styles, how we paint, what we paint, how we do our, like our business models and everything. But that's what makes it fun and interesting because there's no right or wrong. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Janet, we miss your face. I told you that yesterday. I miss your face. Got to get, we got to hug Janet's neck in Texas last last summer. Janet made it happen last summer when I was needing a piece for the class and oh, it was yes. like really difficult. And Miss Janet from the painted short I'm gonna say it wrong. The paint so, so 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 yeah. I, don't know, I can't even speak that language. Sorry. The paint Sorry. 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 I can't even say it. Oh my geez, we just butchered that. There's your oh, shout out. We love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and she brought she brought me a piece that I could use and save the day. All the way from Arizona, right? She lives in Arizona, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. She's moving to Houston, right? I, think, I believe down the coast. She's moving to Texas, baby. Aw, that's sad. <laughs> Shoot. JK. Texas is a place to be. Make it stop. A place to be. That's, you guys that's what I want right there. We're a little bit of banter right between us because I'm better than her in, in most <laughs> ways in general in life. And um, she's a dreamer. <laughs> just kidding. We just we she's get a dreamer. We just have a lot of banter. Hey, Mary. Houston? Okay, fine. Houston's a good place. Then, if Mary's there, Mary, I shipped your brush today. Mary, I finally did it. Hey, hey, hey. Well, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Jeez, I remember my first life. I'm okay, I brought you on here because I thought you were going to be a professional. <laughs> you guys, I'm on my computer. That's why I look like crud because my ring light's not the right angle to give me the right glow. And that's why it's all floppity. That's why. Because the service, you have to go from your computer. So there's that. What's everybody doing? Anybody painting? What's going on? In your quarantine lives. You guys getting some stuff done around your house to make it your perfect little humble abode? I'm adding more. I want more. You what? Give me more. I'm adding more because I want more. I love that. See, if I did that, it would look like my child did it. Just gotta keep it wet. Just gotta keep it wet. A dry rush. So this would be all so new to me. I would not know what to do. Well, and when I did your linen, I was like really confused as to what I was doing. <laughs> Cause I did not have my water brush or my water brush, my water bottle anywhere near me. It was very difficult. That's why there's no wrong or right way, guys. You'll watch one person, they're like, wet your brush. Next person's like, keep your brush dry. One person's like, switch your brushes. And one person's like, use the keep same brush over and over again. 
yeah. it's art, guys. You can do whatever you want. Thanks, Deanna. Well, what I what I like about boho is you can't really mess it up because it's boho. <laughs> it's uh, not perfect, so that's why I love it so much. Because I can be totally jacked up, and nobody really knows. Yeah, I think we would know. No, I don't. I don't, I don't think you would. Okay. Okay. I, th I think we're there. We're there. What? What's happening? I think we're there. I think we're there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so we're gonna Malia. finish Olivia's bathroom, Malia. You what? Did I say Malia or Olivia? I said I gotta finish Olivia's bathroom like so bad. I mean, if you want to finish my bathroom, it is an open door. We've got three of them. Come on I over. Mean, you, it's they all need to be here. Together. <laughs> it's funny. I still, when we talk on the phone, I'm like, you know, your bedroom, when I refer to the guest bedroom. <laughs> mm hmm. Someday, hashtag Rona gets out the door. Gosh, I know. You guys, so we were literally like two to three days into planning our, because we said, okay, we had our first class in Texas. Amazing turnout, fantastic. Couldn't ask for anything better. We were like two to three days into planning our second class in Kansas, Kansas City. And the same horrible virus hit. And we had to like, came to a screeching halt. Just like that. Just like that. It made that noise and everything. It was annoying. Okay. Make it stop. It was annoying. So hopefully, I was like literally this close to booking plane tickets. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> You'd have been quarantined here. Can you imagine if you got stuck here quarantined? <sighs> Don't threaten you with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been crazy. Yeah, I, I would have. I would have been kind of cool. I don't know about my husband. Would have been like, um, we gotta figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta bust out of here. All right, I'm moving on to the next drawer. Going oh. to the next step too. Jay, put your eye makeup is flawless. Thanks. Who said Especially that? you were right beside me with like sweat face and no ring light. <laughs> Thank you, Christine Adler. You're my favorite tonight. You win. <laughs> we'll leave it out. You're my new best friend. Oh, jeez. We can find out our time. <laughs> it's about to add some rebel yellow because I just. I rarely can finish the step without skipping to the next step because I just get bored. Right. Back to in the Navy. Back to in the Navy. I hope you guys can see. Am I in the way? I don't know. I can't tell. All right. Go backwards. Okay, so I think the amazing... Brushed by Brandy is on after us, so we have to be off here by eight o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Thirty-two. We were a little late because we were having technical difficulties. Yeah, it's fun. It was Malia's fault. It's all my fault. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next step. Is this, so this is the one that's going in your um, dining room, right? Um, kitchen. Kitchen. My bad. Yeah, like my living room and my um, dining room are really mid-century modern. And then my kitchen is like, I don't know, modern farmhouse or something. Really antique-y. Antique-y, mm -hmm. I guess, if that's a thing. Is that a word? Do I just make up new? Yeah, sure. I mean, you make up words all the time. <laughs> Yes, the bell brush is awesome, Carrie. I use it a lot. Now I'm using my chip brush just because I'm doing um I'm doing like a really, really 
streaky dry brush. And so the chip brush, the um, premium chip works really good for that. And this is Rebel Yellow, woo, which is like a antique vintage yellow, kind of almost like a cream, creamy. Pure Ocean is what I'm going in with. And she's got Pure Ocean. Judas, she's using Pure Ocean and in the Navy. And this and blue. color and paint blue. This base color is a, a custom mix that we made with um, two parts, I believe it's two parts apricot, one part pink champagne, one part buttercream, and then two tablespoons of evergreen to make like a flesh tone. What? You like the, um, see, that's one thing that you're really good at is like the, the mixology, the color mixing. Mixology. Something you're really good at. Yeah. Well, I actually would have failed at that had there not been um, a lovely, lovely lady on my live that's like evergreen. That'll take the red out, and I'm like, huh? And I did it, and it worked. Oh. You know who else is really good at that? This um, gal in our group, um, Deanna. Yes. She's really good at that. Yeah, she is. Um, I just went blank with her business name. Don't tell me. Gosh, don't tell me. Her, her business name, don't tell me. Oh my gosh, it's a blank. Deanna, you're on here. <laughs> yes. God. <laughs> you retailer. Yeah, we have um, a lot of the Dixieville retailers in our group, and they're amazing. And right now, and they're killing it right now. Holy rise no. above. We rise above. You guys, see how it, I don't know if you can tell what that looks like, but it's like really hard to tell. But this is giving it that, like, and I go like that to like rub it in because I don't want it to look like lines per se. I actually think I want my, I'm grabbing my, I'm grabbing my squirt bottle. Hold oh, please. Haha, <laughs> worm. I am not making this matchy matchy on purpose. Okay, so if you're wondering, <laughs> it doesn't match. We're making faces because it doesn't match. It's on purpose. I got a dang bristle, there it goes. It's on purpose, okay? It's intentional. I'm not even looking at that door. Now I'm gonna stand back and look. I'm not even, I'm not even looking at it. I just want a little bit of what. Oh, that has more paint blue and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I don't mind. It's all right. This one may have a crap ton of, can I say crap ton on here? I just did twice. You just said naughty that word. May have more. Kick her off, Dixieville. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, Lindsay won something. What? What? She's winning all kinds of stuff today. Look at her go. What happened? I don't know, but she won something. <laughs> Jay, Bill, what color are you blending with? So, Mary, I started with In the Navy. Then I went in with Pure Ocean, and then I added a teensy tiny bit of paint blue. Teensy tiny bit. How much is a teensy tiny bit exactly? A teensy tiny bit would, would look like this. <laughs> oh. Just like that. Just checking. Okay. That's what it would look like. j -Po, what are you going to do with the top, Mary said? The top, it will be caviar. I don't know what I'm doing stuff, by the way. Tell you my trick with caviar. And we just discussed this in the group. Caviar tricks. Caviar trick. Um. Wait, did she not win? I'm missing something. Okay, well I don't know. I don't know what you're I don't know. Maybe. Either. I, I don't either. I just saw something say she won. So That's really rude. Caviar. On something that went. It's really mean. Gosh, I know. I'm really. I'm so. I mean. So I'm intrigued with caviar. So a lot of people have trouble because I. Um, I gator hide the top of everything. It don't matter what it is. I gator hide it. 
and a lot of people have trouble with streaking <clears throat> with the gator hide. So I have found what works for me. A lot of my tops I do black or brown. A lot, and some of them I'll boho blend or I'll, you know, do a gray or whatever. But the majority of them are just black or brown. Coffee beans, pine cone, a brown chocolate. It don't matter. What I do and what I have found is if you're going to use a dark color like that, you have to get like an initial seal. And so like with Caviar and Midnight Sky, what I'll do is I'll do an initial seal of the glaze. Oh, yeah, that's right. Didn't you use a dark glaze? I use the black glaze, either midnight, either on Midnight Sky or um, Caviar, it don't matter. The black, the black glaze. So on the coffee bean, the pine cone, the chocolate, it don't matter. I use the Van Dyke brown. Um, you can also use grunge again. It'll change the color a teensy tiny bit, but it'll initially seal that color in and then you can go in with like a clear a clear coat of your choice gator hide what have you but as long as you get that initial seal it minimizes now sometimes i do get streaks i still do get streaks a little bit sometimes i do i'm not saying it eliminates it like completely a lot of times it does but it minimizes it a lot and then if i do a, a buffet with the aj's little trick that she does with the triple no quadruple zero steel wool if it's yeah, like a navy color, like a dark, like a bunker or a navy or something like that, I'll initially seal it with um, easy peasy spray wax, and then go in my in with my clear coat. That's I agree. I think gator hide goes much better over a non-porous surface. It's already sealed up. I use clear coat. She uses glaze, but seal it, then do it. And it, it doesn't like soak in, like have so much. I just think it, I agree. It goes better over a non-porous. Everybody's got their little tricks, but. And sometimes I'll do, I'll seal it with the clear coat and not and skip glaze. It just depends. It really just depends on the color and what I've done to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I do, boo. You know I, mean, I got you, boo. <laughs> Interesting, Mary says. Oh, Carrie, worn. Warm look instead of worn look. Typo by Dixie Bell. <laughs> oh. Worm, worm look. Um, Mustard Tree Market, you won the challenge today during using the not so good choices of paint. Great job, huh? Danette says that. I think she won. That's the other one. I think we're doing a challenge, but I love you for saying that. That's very sweet. I thought everybody did really well considering the color choices. <laughs> I, I agree. I definitely agree. Cause I was like, I even said it on there. I'm like, I'm glad I'm a content creator. Cause if I was a brand ambassador, I'd have been like, oh, I'm sick today. I'm sick today. I'm, sick. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm sick. Well, the funny thing is, is that it's everybody's colors they hate. And like, those are actually the colors I love. If you guys follow me, you know, I use a lot of apricot in mud bottle and terracotta <laughs> so for me i was like in my zone but i know when they picked yeah. mud puddle twice and holy guacamole twice i was like oh I God, like in heaven right now like, I'm in heaven. She's like, <laughs> they're all like this is terrible i'm like i got it <laughs> <laughs> and then they yeah and then they were like plum crazy and i was like oh here we go yeah, that's a little stretch plum crazy and aubergine i'm not a purpley person so i know i was like ooh, i like it a little tough i don't want to see your paint with that purple where my water go i'm losing stuff over here then, but where am i where's all my stuff at everything's everywhere sorry i'm late what are you painting Mush tree market what's that texture thank you um there's actually not a texture, but I did this this base coat on my Dixie Bell Live, and I showed how with painting that you can get this like see throughiness look of texture or age. Um, you gotta watch that one, and I post them all on my page. If you go to my page, you can see them. Um, so it's just my it's just a coat of paint that did this, and then I did the Rebel Yellow um, to add some like 
wallpaper glue look. And now I'm going back over. So these are like old wallpaper and like an old transfer. I'm just gonna like sand it off. Um, and look when I do this. Well, actually, um, 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 I decide what I want to do. Is that your on here? I have to think a second. Well, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Who was doing all that crunching sound during the challenge? Mary, we have no, no idea. idea. I had no, no it was idea. Leo. No, I had it no was Leah. No, it, it was Leah. They dropped her off and it went away. And so she put her earphones in and, and it helped. That's funny. For I, Leah. I was like, oh. I just topped on, caught the very end of the combo. Maybe it applies to me. I just did two coats in the navy and cobalt on a piece. I tried to use Besting Wax and Black. It seemed to be taking the paint off the corners when I was gently rubbing it around. So I gave up on that. I did the gator hide. Um, Heather Lynn, uh, message, Mustard Tree Marketer, Purple Posey. Private message us so we can really think that through and give you a good answer after this. That's a, that's a let us think about it and give you a good answer. <laughs> so hit up on the and we'll help you out. I think that was, it's. I think it's replying to JPO. It's the colors you're using. So just message oh. Posey and ask her. Um, afterwards, she'll yes. give you the answer. Yeah. She's distracted. You don't want her distracted answers. HMO. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Are you being ugly? No. I'm trying to decide what I want to do because I want to go in and do my distressing, but I want to add my grunge. Much time do we have? Not very much time. Ah, okay, yeah. I'll show you. Yeah, we only have 16 minutes. Yeah. You take this, like, sand, sanding sponge and go over transfers or decoupage of any sort. <clears throat> you can really get like a cool aged look. And usually I um, I do my black wax first, stage it, and then Paint I blue. Paint blue. Ow. Oh, you don't hurt yourself. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Is it loud? Sorry. I mean, I may just have you turn too, too far up. Ooh, that's cool. And I like a really grungy aged look. I call it romantic grunge. So to me, I love all the the torn upities and the like scrape upities. But see how, I don't know if you can see that, but see when you go over a transfer or over like decoupage paper or anything with a sanding sponge, it's gonna pull it down to that, the undercoat. So you can see like this is turning white and that's like pulling away. And it's gonna give you a really good grungy look. And then I'll just show you real quick. Totally skipping steps. <clears throat> Oh, no. You what? Nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. That'd be nice. I am. I'm always nice. If you take some um, best stain wax cl clear, okay, and just get a little dabble, do ya, and apply it over your transfers, over your decoupage, or whatever you've got on. And then you're sealing them up as you're doing that, but you're also, when you use a finishing pad, you're kind of like distressing it at the same time. And then you take your French tip, shut up after this, I'm hogging the show right now. Um, and yeah, you, I mean, I'm really used to it actually. Shut your mouth. Take a little best stain wax black, a little, little bit, and just go over and around it on top of the clear wax. Even on top of my gator hide that I put on here. It's all okay. See? My hips hurt from sitting on this floor. I'm getting old. Right? Complaining? I really like that. It's so pretty. Thanks. Aw, Tracy. 
Chasey says, all my girls. Tribe member. Shout out to the tribe member. Um, yes. So Navy. Um, and then I go in with Pure Ocean, which is the really bright turquoise. Oh, gosh. It's so backwards. Turquoise. And then um, Haint Blue is the really, really light that I'm barely tapping into the um, into the lid. Um, where did you find a dollhouse a wallpaper book? Did you answer that question? Garage sale. Garage sale. Estate sales, garage sales. I found a dollhouse um, at the same time, like an antique dollhouse. And they had an antique dollhouse wallpaper to like redo it on the inside. Like his wife had had it for a million years. I also got some really pretty cool, huge like, time magazines and stuff that with like the old vintage like woman on it it's like a hat on she looks like this <laughs> it go? she look like this with the hat that goes down in front of your face you know what i mean oh i've seen you stage yeah i've seen you stage with that so yeah you just stayed with that didn't you i did mm-hmm but then you just take the clear a little shop towel with the best stain wax clear and you can like rub over it and kind of blend it out. You can erase it back. And I did that right over Gator Hide. Grunge it out. And then a lot of times I take my sanding paper and go over it and it like separates. See how I did that? I don't know if you can see that, but see how it kind of separates out and makes the, the grunge look more real. I hope that's not letting anybody else. <laughs> Make it stop. It's probably just me. <laughs> I just have you turned way up in my AirPods. My AirPods. And then this, since it's testing wax, you want to wipe it back um, like 15 minutes after you apply it. Or I like sand it with the little sanding sponge a lot of times. And then I can go back over this with Gator Hide to like top coat it or clear coat uh, when I'm done. Grungity, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. pure, pure ocean. You're currently working on a few dollhouses, Sherry. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. I could get stuck in doing that. I'm scared to do one because I'm afraid that I'll just, I'll be like, that's all I'm going to do now is dollhouses, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll get stuck on them because they're so cool. How is Gator Hide applied? It depends on who you ask. <laughs> a lot of people yeah. use blue Dixie Bell sponge is probably the easiest way to apply it. And then we both said we recommend doing it over a sealed surface. So seal it with a clear coat or, uh, or a glaze and then go in with your Gator Hide and it'll be a lot smoother application. I'm getting, um, so I used to apply Gator Hide when I first got started, when I first got the courage to try it because I, you know, when I first used it, I felt miserably and I was like, I ain't ever using this stuff again. This is dumb. And then I went back to it and I used um, a mini brush and you'll get streaks for sure with the mini, with the, um, with the brush. A lot easier than you will with that blue sponge. But the blue sponge does take, take some getting used to. So you really honestly, Honestly, paint blue. Uh, practice. You just got to practice. But the initial seal for me, and like I said, and Leah, you know, is super, I think, important. It really is, I think, honestly. But practice. Practice more than anything. What are you spraying, j -Po? Water. Just water. water. Good old H2O. Looks good, j -Po, deep and lovely. Just like you, boo. I mean, <laughs> have you ever Thank felt you, Lindsay. Much love and alive before? What? Have you felt so much love and alive before? It's it feels good to be live with you again. I agree. Just Sorry, kidding. I didn't get dressed up for you guys tonight. Look, I got a little peacock sticking out of my head. Listen, the only reason I have makeup and my hair done is because I'm working from home and I made a commitment. The day I started working, or that I got the news, I was working from home. I made a commitment. I'm going to get up every day 
and get ready like I'm going to work every single day. And I've stuck to it for six weeks, five weeks, six weeks. I don't even know how long it's been. I've stuck to it. I have. It's the only reason I have my hair and makeup done. I mean, I definitely got ready today. You just can't tell it anymore. <laughs> um, well, At some point, though, I did, did look pretty put together. So I use the water because when you are blending, you have to keep your paint wet. You, it's like a must. You've got to, because if you don't, for one, you'll just, you'll get like really jagged edges, or it'll start like kind of clumping up, and your paint won't look like smooth. It'll look like um, like you've got like sand or something under it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You can spray your piece or you can spray your brush, either way. If you're afraid you're going to get too much water, spray your brush. If you're used to, you know, you feel pretty comfortable with your mister or whatever you're using and know that you can control your water, spray, whatever, spray your piece. But when you're blending, you have to, you have to keep your paint wet. You cannot let it dry. If you let it dry, if it starts to do that little clumpy stuff, you're going to have to let it dry all the way, take a light sanding sponge to it, and kind of smooth it out and start all over again for it to be smooth. If you, if you don't mind it being bumpy, stop it. If you don't mind it being bumpy, you can keep going. I'm going to cut you. I will cut you. <laughs> Just trying to do my part of the edumacation. You're doing great. Keep going. This is another transfer that's messed up, so it's gonna be fun. Frozen transfers don't go on real well. I'm having trouble with this drawer, not gonna lie. I don't like it. I don't like it. You love dual lives? Woo -woo. I do too. I really, really miss our color made pretty paint show. Thank you. I don't have pajama pants on, something's really wrong. Japo wears leopard print pajamas. Shut yeah. your face. God. Your lives. You know what? We can't, we can't hate on her for her bad choice of clothing, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end this live. Um, <laughs> I apologize to the Dixie Bell viewers for the um, negativity and the rude Make comments. Stop. This is too cold. It's gonna pull up, but you guys, if you ever had that happen to a transfer and it got like too cold or something like froze or melted, um, and you don't mind the like worn up, worn out of the grungy look, just put that on and then slice it with a razor blade, a couple spots and let that gator hide slip underneath of it and then gator hide on top of it. Take a little sanding sponge to it and whoop. I mean, that looks pretty cool, right? It does look pretty cool. So don't ever throw stuff away. Scraps can make beautiful grungy pieces. Hey, guess what? We gotta go. Brandy's gonna kill us. Brandy's about to get on. I don't want Brandy mad at me. We cra we're gonna crash Fresh by Brandy's life? We should. <laughs> if we could just pop on and like, be like, hey. <laughs> She's gonna be like, who are you? <laughs> I mean, to me, <laughs> not to you. To me, she be like, who, who are you? Stop it. Everybody knows who J-Po is. Just kidding. Um, Malia, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It was super fun. I was so excited to get to paint with you today. Again, for the first time in like 17 years. Come on. Um, fix it, Mark. Listen, if you guys are interested in, um, in, in you know, our membership group, there's a little link. I, th I believe she posted it, maybe, or not. I'll edit the, the title when we get off of here. And post the link. Also, I'll post the link where you can go and you can find your local retailer. Um, if you want to try any of the products that we use tonight, 
or you can have them shipped right to your doorstep if you don't have a retailer near you. Um, support your local businesses, support your local businesses as well. If you can't find a local retailer, um, we'd love it if you followed our pages. If you're new here and you you know don't understand Malia and I, uh, I'm sorry, she's she's a weirdo. Um, no, I'm just kidding. We're best friends. We're business partners. Uh, we're you know we're in a group together, so this this is our normal thing. Um, but anyways, we'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for the hearts. You guys are amazing, and we will see you. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Y'all catch her Mondays at 2 p.m. at Central Center time at 3 p.m. Eastern. For Mondays with Malia here on the Dixie Bell page. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Go relax and watch Andy next. Watch some good painting yeah. next. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm not do it.